Kayla, I'm a ride instructor and also a woman in recovery. Cosmo was the last stop on the bus for me. I went there uh, Road Race Sunday uh, in 2012. Since then, I, I've been clean, so we're coming up on 10 and a half years clean. It was the community for me there. I forever wanted to give back to Gazelon. Recovery is a huge part of my life. I wouldn't have accomplished anything in the last 10 and, 10 and a half years had I not stepped into recovery and had the support I needed. And it was the people. It was the people there that kept me there. And it was the people that keep me in long-term recovery. I started coming to Bespoke in 2018. I've always been into fitness, but as far as like a fitness class and like, I didn't know what to expect. And, and I was looking around the room trying to follow and at some point I started to cry and I didn't know why. But the way I felt when I left was the way in anyone that I feel like that has been long-term recovery, like the first year you're clean, it's like you start noticing the sun, you start noticing the stars in the sky, like you start to feel that belly laugh again, those like weird little glimpses of hope when you first get here. That's how it felt for me. Like that's how in comparison, and any time I've walked into the studio since, I feel that way. It's family, it's community, and it's very similar to me. It's interchangeable. Like the community that I found within recovery and the family that I've built within recovery, like the chosen family, I have found that to be the same here. Addiction has run rampant through a country and the world. So I feel like with events like this, it's like getting the word out to like end the stigma, to find a solution, to let people know that recovery is possible. Because at the end of the day, it's like, why do I do the things that I do is that I hope to inspire people to, to want to better themselves as well.